Education news tonight. The South Carolina Supreme Court just, just voted the new Education Scholarship Trust Fund program was unconstitutional. Under the new program, parents were able to use vouchers to send their kids to pay for private school. But now those parents are left with unanswered questions about the future. News 19's Shelly Garzon today set out to get some answers. I was devastated. I was I was thinking, oh my God, are they even going to allow the children to finish this year? Holly Curtis has two children who attend Wedgefield University. She said she made the decision to transfer her students into private school after her son, who has ADHD, was not given resources he needed. I'm a single mom. Um, I have two children. I, I take care of them solely. Um, they rely on me physically and financially. Um, so the vouchers, the money for the vouchers is a blessing, an absolute blessing to have that ability. Um, I actually drive my kids 30 miles uh, to school every day just because of the better education. Back in 2023, Governor McMaster signed the Education Scholarship Trust Fund program into law, which allowed qualifying parents to apply for scholarships worth up to $6,000 per student. Opposers of the law believe public money should not be used for private school education. I don't think this fight will be over. I think they will try to come back to the table and figure out another way to take our public dollars and give them to private schools. Unfortunately, um, that seems to be what's on the mind of the leadership in our state is to think that this is going to be the fix or the answer to our, our problems. Sherry East is the president of the state's education association, one of the parties who filed a suit against the STF. She says this money should be put towards other things. Let's put some of these tax dollars into the, the corridor shame. Let's put them into our rural South Carolina, our Abbeyville's and our Marlboro County, Dillon County, uh, Jasper County. So let's go into areas that are struggling with funding. We have to allow all of our people to have a, an opportunity to, to, to get educated, to start climb, climbing that, that ladder of success. And if, if you don't have the money, then you've got a problem. So if, if they need money to go to those schools to get started, then the, the state needs to find a way to provide that. Governor McMaster says the state needs to do whatever it takes to make sure students are well educated and parents have a say in what school is best. That's one of the difficulties of this opinion that, that um, apparently pulls, it seems it's pulling the rug out from under them, so to speak. But again, that's something that's going to have to be addressed. Shelly Garzone, News 19, WLTX. Well, the uh, South Carolina Department of Education told us that the voucher program was very popular. They were able to award 2,800 students with scholarships.